Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Everything or Nothing. Everything or Nothing, it literally means everything or nothing because on our last show, a contestant left with nothing. Zakir, Officer Zakir, I'm so sorry you had to go empty handed because our show is called Everything or Nothing. I think because you're an immigration officer, um, probably you need to change your profession. Might want to look into that. Anyway, and the viewers out there, if you want to participate in Everything or Nothing, contact us using the email address at the bottom of the screen. Now, here are the rules of the game. The rules of the game. First, the luck and wit round. The contestants will answer a multiple choice general knowledge question. If they get the question right, they go to the guessing wall where their luck will be tested. The first card will be revealed to them and the rest they have to guess. At the guessing wall, contestants will have to complete their row of cards one at a time by guessing if the next card in the series is higher or lower than the previous number on the card. Now let's meet our contestants for this show. Now who do we have here? Um, you look like a movie star. Your name, man, and please tell us about your, uh, yourself because I'm sure the audience has, they want to know who this um, good-looking guy is, huh? Uh, thank you. I would like to say thank you, uh, everybody, for inviting me to Everything or Nothing. Uh, my name is Bichoy Kanazab. I'm a film director and actor. And I worked with you so many TV commercial. Oh, you did? Uh, I think it's about 60 to 70 TV commercial I worked with you. <laughs> and from uh, it been so 2007 to until now. Recently, two years, one year ago. I don't know. You've worked in too many of my ads. Yeah. No wonder nobody else had any chance and opportunity to work <laughs> in my adverts. Uh, I think you, I should retire you. Well, you, you're doing your uh, own production now, so. Um, and um, I, I got the opportunity to work in your production, so. Um, thank you for giving me a chance in your... Thank you I, for I giving to, me a chance. I, I, I hope to work with you in the future as well. So, uh, good luck on this show. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. And, um, yeah, I'll get back to you. I'll come back to you soon. Now, who do we have here? Hello. Well, I like this scarf. Oh, thank you. So, um, Matched with your one. <laughs> thank you. I, 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 New trend. I, I, I think waiting, everyone... I, I was waiting for you to say that. I think that. everyone eventually will start following you. Your trend. <laughs> well, I am a trendsetter. Yeah. So your name I'm Ruby, and where you from? And I'm from North London, Camden, the famous Camden okay. Lock. Look, well. Yeah. I actually, um, I remember I, well, not me, my my family, my mum and dad, and I was quite young. We, yeah. Well, I when we first we were my, when my dad brought my mum here, we, uh, he. Uh, they lived in Camden. Yeah, so I it's, have a, it's a nice place to live. Little uh, vague memory mm. in, in Camden. So welcome. Thank you. Everything Thank nothing. you for having me. You're welcome. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you. And yes, this another person I'm seeing. Um, introduce yourself, please. Uh, my name is Taj, and I'm from London, Stepney. Okay. Well, Taj, thank you very much for coming. Um, I I'd rather basically tell everybody he's. Uh, a childhood friend of mine. We used to go to school together. Oh. Yes. And and uh, one of my closest friends, one of my best friend, and I'm so privileged to have him on the show. Taz, thank you so much. I wish you all the best. But um, buddy, don't expect me to uh, sort of uh, give you any kind of uh, no, reveal no. any anything for you. So I'm I'm not gonna do no favors. This is a serious show. Uh, okay. But anything else for you, buddy? Hi. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Sajad. I'm from ILD, Douglas. You're from Docklands? Uh, yeah. Okay, Sajad. Um, have we met before? Yeah, long time ago, about nine, ten months ago. I see, I see. Uh, yeah. But you've been away in, in, in Bangladesh for, for a few months, right? Yeah, for a few months I stayed okay. in Bangladesh. What, what were you doing in Bangladesh? Well, I've been in India for two weeks and I have made the house in Bangladesh. So So you was in what? India for two weeks and, and then you had then to rest of the time. Build a, build a house yeah, in Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Wow, excellent. Well, I'll, I hope one day you probably invite me to your uh, new house Hi. there. Inshallah. Yes, I look yeah. forward to that. Thank you. Okay. Lady, lady. there's no lady, so lady and gentlemen, <laughs> we'll start the show. So now, Bijoy oh. Khan Azad. Okay. You're not going to be hard on me, are you? Mm -hmm. Well, that depends on uh, <laughs> your, your um, understanding and your sort of um, how much you know 
about My everything. My knowledge is very bad. Anything and everything. So let's let's find out your knowledge. Oh my uh, God! Capabilities. I'm very bad. Well, as a filmmaker, as that, I'm sure you know what Mike is. Yeah. So now tell me, what is Mike short for? Microchip, micro cable, or microphone? Microphone. And you're right. Now you get to play on the guessing wall. First card, I'll reveal for you. Oh, Six. that's a difficult one because it could be low, it could so, be high. So higher or lower? Possibility. Oh God, very difficult one. I know it's gonna number six or something gonna come up. Uh, known the odds, it's 50-50. But I'm going to go for uh, not 50, 50, 60, 50, 60, 50, yeah? So, can you tell me I'm going to go for lower? higher. 60, 50. So, <laughs> I'm going to go for 10 percent. 60% higher or? Uh, 50 percent is, 60 percent is higher. Higher. Okay. It's going to come. 50 percent is lower. Low. Wow. We, we, Knowing we, the odds. We, we, we have somebody who knows the odds. Yeah. You, remind, you remind me of a previous contestant who was similar like you. Okay. okay. So now, higher or lower? Uh, I mean, I'm going to go for higher. Higher. Lower. Azad is saying he calculated the odds. Lower. And he's saying it's going to be higher. Higher. Let's find out. Lower. See? Oh. Yeah, because... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Azad. <laughs> the odds are not in your favor. <laughs> They're not in your favor today. So, I would have to change the card. So, Am I still playing? Goes. Ruby. Yes. R Ruby is one of my favorite stones. The color. Yeah. The color. The, uh, red is one of my favorite, and the dark, sort of blood red kind of. So that's, is that's mine. My color. You're wearing red as well today. Yes, today I'm wearing red. Wow. <laughs> and um, now, Ruby, tell me. Yeah. What natural structure? What natural structure? Bouts lava. A. Giza. B. Volcano. C. Canyon. So is it Giza, volcano, or canyon that spouts lava? Spouts lava. Volcano. Ruby. I have to say that. You're right. Thank you. Now, <clears throat> the first card is two. Now, I, I even, <laughs> like Azad, calculate the odds and tell me if it's going to be higher or lower. Higher, definitely. I'll go for higher. higher. Take my chances. You yeah. know, the cards are from one to 15. I know. It can be. The, the let's, let's, let's take the chances. I'll go for higher. You go for higher. Yeah. Ruby is saying it's going to be higher. I hope it is. Probably, probably it is. So let's find out. And it's nice. <laughs> See? <laughs> Lucky, nice huh? One. For the first time. Good. Oh my That's my friend. Yes. Have you been to Scotland? Uh, no. You don't go to Scotland? No. Oh dear. <laughs> now, the next question is, what is the capital city of Scotland? Is it A, Edinburgh, B, Glasgow, or C, Aberdeen? What is the capital of Scotland, the capital? Edinburgh. You haven't been to Scotland, have you? Never been to Scotland? No. So how did you know it's Edinburgh? Because <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Right, your first card is oh one. Yeah. That is. I don't think I need to say it's high level. So <laughs> I'll reveal it. It's yeah. 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 Oh God. There was no favour. Yeah. This is my friend. I, I, I there was no, no favour. You wasn't favour. No Why is my one six? Are you sure about that? Right. <clears throat> Sajad.
How many tentacles does an octopus have? You know octopus. Okay. You know it's got legs yeah, and yeah, arms and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if his arms okay. or legs or whatever it is, yeah? So is it A1, B8, or C10? How many tentacles does octopus C. have? C. Ten. You go for ten? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> you are a you're wrong. It's eight. Eight. Yeah. How could you get this wrong, Sajan? <laughs> yeah. Octopus. 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 Yeah. Octopus. Eight. Eight. Yeah. I know, but. Oh, I guess. Bad luck. <laughs> again. <laughs> Octopus got ten. Again, <laughs> question. I thought we were going to go for a card again every yeah. time. Start. No. <clears throat> Filmmaker. Actor, Direct. sometime football player. <laughs> you also a good football player, far, as far be. as I know. Used to be, not anymore. You had your legs broken a few times. <laughs> you got your kneecap broken because I remember we used to go to the gym, and your kneecap used to come off, yeah. and I used to sort of push it in, um, in place. I used to play in the 90s and then retired in 2000. So you retired in Still, I'm playing now, like vets league, and sometime when I feel. All right, okay. Now tell me. Let me, let me see. Is it related to football? Yes, your question oh. is related to football. So let's see how much you know about football. Which English football club's anthem is You'll Never Walk Alone? A, Manchester United, B, Liverpool, or C, Arsenal? I'll tell you something. It's easy. I hate that club. It's Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how <laughs> the fans of Liverpool will take this. Be the Arsenal well, fan. Well, <laughs> Being an Arsenal fan, I'm not gonna deny it. Well, it's 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 your opinion, so Arsenal. you're right. <laughs> Thank you. Liverpool it is. <clears throat> okay, your previous card was six. The odds were not in your favour. <laughs> Still, it's not gonna be a favour. It's a very difficult card. <laughs> not to be it. Are you gonna change the card? <laughs> I, I did change the card. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is that that six <laughs> is, is like very difficult. It's in the middle. It's stuck in the middle. <laughs> the number is in the middle. Could so, be a low. Or could be a high. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that number is very dangerous. It could be high, it could be low. And now I'm going to say high, low, it's going to be high now. What? <laughs> I'm going to go for no, still, still, you know, something. I'm going to still go for a high, man. Still for a little higher. Still, I'm going to go for you, a You also remind me of somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, one minute, one minute, one minute. I don't know, six, could be four, five, six, seven, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Eight numbers up. Still down. No. It's very difficult. Go for higher, man. Higher. Higher. You're going for higher. I'm going for higher. Please. Lower, lower. Seven. Come on. Lower. Higher or lower? Well, Azad is saying it's going to be higher. And let's all find out if it's higher or lower. It's higher. Yes. <laughs> Odds are in your favour, Azad. Thank you. Well done. We come to. Beautiful Ruby again. So, Ruby, you travel in the world. Yeah, occasionally. Previously, yeah. I mean, just a few weeks ago, you've been um, on a cruise. Yes. Where did you go? Brussels, France, and Brooke. And who did you go with? Colleagues. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Okay, I mean, you don't need to tell us. But <laughs> right, colleagues. Colleagues, fine. Now, Ruby. Hmm. What is the capital of Japan? Is it A? Kyoto, B, Tokyo, or C, Osaka? Tokyo. You know you're right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, now. Nine was your previous card. Mm -hmm. Ruby, higher or lower? I would go for, I went for higher earlier. I'll go for lower this time because I could see six there, 11, nine, four, two. I'll go for lower. Lower? Yeah. Let's take the chances. No, you can't add, your, your line is separate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just thinking in my head. It's all the way. It's like, it's like I, think, I think I would go for lower. Lower? Yes. Ruby is going to go for lower. Yeah. Lower than nine. Let's see it. Lower. <laughs> 
Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Uh oh, my turn. That's. <clears throat> yes. You do sports? Yeah. Have you been following um, the Olympics? Um, Olympics? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now tell me, who holds the world record for the 100 meter? A. Justin Gatlin, B. Usain Bolt, or C. Carl Lewis? Who holds the world record for 100 meter? 100 meter running, of course. Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt! Yes. Carl Lewis? No. Hmm? It's Usain Bolt. Definitely. You don't want to change your mind or anything? No. No, I stick to Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt? Yeah. Well, that's. Uh oh. <laughs> right. So I've got one and four. So, if I get three in between, I'll be unluckiest. So higher or lower? You, you, don't, you, you don't have to guess the number. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> just, no, I'm just calculating Just tell me if it's higher or lower. Simple. Yeah. Okay, it's be higher. Higher? Yeah. Taz is saying it's going to be higher than four. Higher than four and it's 13. Yes. Excellent. Well done, Taz. <clears throat> Octopus has ten legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, eight legs, but I told you ten legs. Because <laughs> I was joking. He was joking. <laughs> I don't I don't know how the viewers found this. He was, was joking. <laughs> nursery kid will know it's eight legs. I know, but he said ten, eight or ten. <laughs> yes, he got confused. <laughs> Alright then, seal. Um. Now. What do you call an animal that only eats meat? What do you call an animal that only eats meat? A. Herbivore B. Carnivore or C. Omnivore What do you call an animal that eats only meat? It only, only eats meat basically. Yeah. yeah. So what is it? Herbivore, Hi. Carnivore or Omnivore? Herbivore. A. Sajjan is saying animal that eats no. only meat G. is a herbivore, B. which is a herbivore. B. No, you can't change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say A, B, you can't say that. Okay. So, Sajjan, octopus doesn't have ten legs. Ten legs. Yeah. <laughs> An animal that eats only meat is not a herbivore. No, no, no. It's a carnivore. So you're wrong again. Carnivore. Oh, you cracked oh. me up. Too. You got mixed up again. Mixed up, yeah. <laughs> but he's he was joking <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, it's my turn again now. Oh, no cards. Don't be lost. Ask me again. Oh. Oof. It seems like it's all going according mm -hmm. to your, uh, basically, in your favour. Odds yeah, are in the favour, yeah. like, well. mm. <laughs> Now tell me, as I'm wearing red today, oh. and Ruby <laughs> was natural red today, over there, yeah? You so black which as well. Huh? You go west coat black. <laughs> well, I'm sh my shirt's there. Red and black. Red and black. Red and, well, red and black. Red, I can see. You, you, I can also see red on your... Oh. Yeah, oh. Red. Oh. So hint of red everywhere. <laughs> now tell me, which British political party's colour is red? Oh. A. Conservative. B. Labour. <laughs> or C. UKIP. So difficult question. A. Come conservative. On. B. Labour. C. UKIP. Which <laughs> British political party's colour is red? Why did I get this? Labour Party. <laughs> Labour Party. He's right, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the odds is in my favour now. Yeah. Mm. Because it's 11, yeah. uh, possibility is lower. It's lower. But only four numbers up from 11, so. Possibility? Only four numbers. Three numbers, 11, 12, 13. So, now tell me, what are the percentage now? I mean, percentage? Ah. Odds, percentage, percentage odds. is 70. 70% 70 for lower. 
or lower? Higher. 30% for higher. 70% you are saying it's going to be lower? Lower. 30% higher. Let's it's find higher. out higher. that you are saying it's higher or lower? Higher. I'm saying lower. You're saying lower? Lower. Lower. It's higher. 70% lower and it's... Higher. Oh, oh, that was... Oh, dear. That is oh, dear. Like, it's not me. Well, as that, it seems like all are not always in your favor. <laughs> It's, this is everything or nothing. <laughs> Alts can be anything, you know. It's so it's yeah, unpredictable. Uh, yeah, we, it goes huh? from eleven is seventy percent chance of being lower card. Well, I just proved it. Yeah, yeah. There is that's, no that's such a thing luck, as, isn't it? as also percentage on my show, especially. <laughs> <laughs> now you've been fixing numbers, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, I think I'm stuck on there. the ravishing mm. ruby. Oof. Getting very nervous now. <laughs> In food. Mm. I love food. What is halloumi? Mm. A. Cheese. Mm. B. Vegetable. Or C. Meat. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what I think. <laughs> Well, I think it's cheese. It's one of my favourite. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I've asked the wrong question. You're right. It is cheese. Thank oh, you. No. He's going to go. Okay, your previous card was one you didn't have to guess. I think this is the second time I've been lucky. It's the yeah. odds on the paper. Was the second time or first time? This is the second time I said. Four. You can't go lower than one, so obviously no, you're going to say obviously. higher. So I've done it for you, so... Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's matching your colour, that's why I'm, it's in my favour today. Ah, <laughs> ah. My colour and, and ruby, of course. And so. ruby, the stone, yes. <laughs> okay, we go for me. Taz, I really hope you watch movies. Yep, yep. do, yep. Who played Hannibal Lecter? in 1991 film Silence of the Lamb. Oh, that was a oh. very mm. scary film. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it still gives me the shivers. Huh? <laughs> yeah, my. Mm. So it's, uh, I, I love it. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, who played Hannibal Lecter in the 1991 film Silence of the Lamb? Is it A, Mads Mikkelsen, B, Anthony Hopkins, C, Ian McShane? Who played Hannibal Lecter? Who Liked eating liver of people, human beings. Yeah. Anthony uh. Hopkins. You did watch the film. Yes. And you're right. Yeah. Hey. Oh, number. Oh, uh, thirteen. <coughs> High um, or lower? Um, I um, did you, hold on, hold on. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tricky one. Um, it's not tricky. I have to. <laughs> You, you can get advice from Razad. So it's up to 15, isn't it? But, yeah. but, yeah, but I won't 15. take his advice. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. no. Um. <coughs> Higher or lower, Taz? Higher. Higher? Higher. 13, you can say higher. I got two more numbers. Oh, this seriously 13. rings a bell. Anyway, I'm going to... I will have to obviously follow your wishes, I have to obey them. So, here it goes. Yeah. Dad is saying it's higher. Mm -hmm. Higher than 13. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes! Mm. <laughs> what just <Yes>. happened? <laughs> what just happened, guys? Somebody <laughs> on my show last week, he had 13. <laughs> and he was keep every round, he got all the questions right. Everyone, when he came to Guessing the number, higher or lower, he had 13, he always said higher. Mm. And he never got a single round right. <laughs> and you seem to got this number right. Um, if Manuel is watching, Manuel, <laughs> <laughs> you should have been on this show. That wasn't your night, mate. So, well done, Taj, well done. Thank you. Did you tell me the numbers? Yeah. Everything or nothing. Brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Everything or nothing. Brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Oh dear. Yeah, <laughs> oh my. Oh no. <clears throat>
hard place. Uh, you know? <laughs> hard <laughs> place. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, can, you can do it. You can do it. You, can do it. <laughs> you mentioned just a little, little bit earlier that you've been to India. <laughs> yep. Yeah? So I hope <laughs> you've, you've basically um, know about India, about Indian flag. This flag, yeah. Yeah? All right. If you, if you don't get this answer right, I don't think they're going to give you a visa anymore to go to India. <laughs> you know? All right, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody from <laughs> India Embassy watching this, my if he gets this wrong, do not let this man Sounds enter okay. your country. Not three. <laughs> <laughs> Sajad, which symbol features at the heart of the Indian flag? A pair of swords, B, a wheel, C, an elephant. Which symbol features at the heart of the Indian flag? Is it pair of sword, or a wheel, or an elephant? Which one? Elephant. So sword, pair of swords, or is it a wheel or an elephant? Which symbol features at the heart of the Indian flag? Come on, you have to answer this right, otherwise you're not going back in <laughs> okay, India again. Okay. <coughs> Watching this show, and if you see this man <laughs> on your street, cheers for him because he got the answer right. Yes, it's a win. And five is your first number. Sajad, now higher or lower? I'm gonna go for higher. Higher. Sajad is saying it's higher, and let's see it. Higher! Close. <laughs> that was close. I'm getting all the questions right. The man of odds and favor? even and probabilities. <laughs> what is not in my favor? <laughs> now tell me. The odd is not in my favor. Yeah, I think okay. it seems that way. <laughs> look at look at that. <laughs> oh, <dear. Nice. laughs> Never mind. Let, let's see. Well, um, well, if you get this answer right, well, if yeah, if you get it right, then if you get the number, you'll catch up, and if they fail go down so, so um now tell me related what I, I, I don't believe this <laughs> what is it anyway <laughs> what color card is shown to a footballer when they are sent off <laughs> a purple <sighs> b yellow or c red send off yeah <laughs> have you ever been sent off so, uh, one time one time. <laughs> it was when I was playing for Wilmington Town Football Club. Okay, now, now, now what colour card did the referee show you? Uh, red. Send off. What? Red. Are you sure? So the colour of the card shown to a footballer when they're sent off is, you're saying it's red? <laughs> of course it's red. Obviously you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, easy, man. Oh, <laughs> Now tell me the odds and the percentage. <laughs> Without hearing the percentage, I'm not, I'm not going to turn the card. So 70 again. 70 again. For 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 low numbers. 70 for low. For so low. lower. 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 Azad is saying lower. Now let's find out. It's lower. Yay! Yay. Well done. Ruby. Yes, yeah, yeah. it's me. You watch Batman movie? Mm, yes, I, I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, then let's see how much you've really watched Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Which Batman villain is known for his laugh? A. The Joker. B. The Penguin. C. The Riddler. <laughs> Which Batman villain is known for his laugh? A. The Joker. B, the penguin, or C, the riddler? The penguin. The penguin? Yes. It's known for the laughs? Yes. 
How, do, how, do, how does it laugh? Really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can't describe it, but... Well, since yes. you clearly remember... I remember, but I can't remember Joker because... Oh, I don't yeah. know. Can you laugh like the um, penguin? I mean, let's see. <laughs> like this. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? No, like this. Yeah, seriously. I heard. I I've seen the movies. I've seen Penguin Love. He doesn't laugh like this. Not at okay, all. Okay then. So um, obviously your laugh was much more so nice to listen to. Okay. But not his. But <clears throat> the answer to your question is. Ruby, it's not the penguin. It's a the Joker. Oh, I can't the remember the Joker, Joker like the, I said. The Joker so, has a, you know that mark. Yeah. Oh that yes, mark now I remember. Yes. Smile, the big You should have given me the description. <laughs> <laughs> then, then now I might as well talk to you the answer. Or did it his favor now? Oh. All right. I think you should go back and watch Batman again. Yes, I will. <laughs> the penguin. I never heard penguin laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Who has heard penguin laugh? Have you heard no. penguin laugh? I don't know. The Who's guy's miserable. Time? He's just miserable in the entire film. No, I found his face really funny, so I just had <laughs> that, to say that. That was you <laughs> laughing, not the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Daz. <clears throat> yes. You never bunked off history lessons, did you, back in the school, school days? days. Uh, no, no, no. You no. sure? Yes. Okay, let's find out. Which country did Christopher Columbus discover? A. Australia. B. America. C. Greenland. Which country did Christopher Columbus discover? A. Australia. B. America. C. Greenland. America. Christopher Columbus discovered America. Yeah. Well, it seems like you have actually proved that you... I never bunked off. Never bunked off. <laughs> 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 You're right there beside me, actually. Yeah, yeah history classes, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. So, well done. Thank you. Uh, right, so now... Daz. <laughs> yep. As your previous card is 14, <laughs> so now, higher or lower, it's 1 to 15, so... So if I'm unlucky, it will be 15. If I'm <laughs> lucky, it will be lower. So, so... Higher or lower? So, go for lower. Lower? Yeah, it can't be 13, I'm 14, I'm 15. 15 you never yeah, know. So <laughs> you never know. The last card is 15, isn't it? So, yeah, it's, yeah, lower. And if he's 15, That's I'm right. unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's lower. Yeah. Lower? 15. Lower. 15. 14. 15. 13, 14. And Maybe saying 15. it's lower, let's find out if Taz is right or wrong. Because if he gets this guess right, that means you're going through to the next round. No, Taz, you said it's lower. Yeah. It's lower or higher, it's lower! Yay! First contestant to go through to the next round. So, um, well done. I'll Thank have you. to ask you to leave the stage for the time being. You'll be called on to the next round when we are ready for you, for you to come on. So, um, thank you, Dad. Ladies and gentlemen, we have had our first winner from the first round who's gone through to the second round. Now, coming back to our first round, we still have Azad, Ruby and Sajad. Sajad, seems like you are going to India. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I'm not sure how you're going to face your friends when they watch the program. Okay. Octopus has <laughs> ten legs. Yes, and, I was um, joking with you, Kim. <laughs> 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 this I know, is not a joke. It's a serious yeah, I know, game. I know, I, know, I know, seriously, game, but just. 
trust he was joking. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Not <coughs> so, Jad, what does the internet acronym BTW stand for? What does the internet acronym BTW BTW stand for? A. Back to work. B. By the way. Or C. Black to white. What does BTW stand for? Back to work. By the way. Black to white. I'm going for back to work. <laughs> Internet acronym BTW stands for back to work. Sajad, no, you, you already answered it. <laughs> <laughs> you already answered it. The internet acronym BTW, Sajad is saying it stands for back to work. Sajad, you are not going back to work. There won't be a work left for you once you get out of the studio. Because it means, by the way, right. you're wrong. Sorry, no problem. Next time. Azad, seems like odds are not in your favor. Right? It's not even now. You're getting the answers right. I mean, answers seem to be in your favor. The odds of the questions seems to be in your favor. You get the answers right, and on the guessing wall, odds are not in your favor. So, see how it goes now. Let's give it another try. Okay. Now, in which religion would you find the holy book, the Torah? A, Buddhism, B, Judaism, or C, Hinduism. Which, in which religion would you find the holy book, the Torah? Buddhism, Judaism, or Hinduism? I'm not a religious person. <laughs> the only religion I follow is Islam. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's a religion, a, but... It's not, it's not a trick question or anything, it's not a hard uh, question. I mean, I think... What was the first it's, one? It's one of the major religion. Yeah. What was the first one? First one is Buddhism, second one is Judaism, and third one is Hinduism. I think it's the first one. Buddhism. Yeah. The Torah. No, no, no. You, you said it. No. You, you answered it. You answered it. <laughs> the Torah belongs to I think it's the Jewish. religion Jewish. of um, Buddhism, as I answered. Azad, you're wrong, obviously. Azad. It's Judaism. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, oh my God. Ruby. <laughs> Where's the <Whoa>. panic button? <laughs> you're on your last card. I know, I can see that. <laughs> that means if you answer this question right, right. and you could guess the card number right, okay. you're going to the next round. Yeah? Okay. So it's very important <sighs> yes. that you get this right. Mm -hmm. Now, in which cartoon would you find the character Pikachu? A. Digimon B. Beyblade or C. Pokemon Pikachu Oh God, my son always used to watch that program <laughs> um, I hope you've been watching this program No, I son. don't I never do Oh no So, read that again please in which cartoon would you find the character Pikachu? Is it Digimon, Beyblade, or Pokemon? Can I call my son? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a, a game show that you can Don't call Don't we have friends, a no. lifeline or something? No, you don't. <laughs> call a friend. Um, so, you said Digimon, Digimon, po Pokemon? Beyblade, or Pokemon? Pokemon. You're going to go for Pokemon? Yes. So it's a wild guess you're guessing. I'm just guessing it. <laughs> Pokemon, yes. Pikachu, Pokemon. Pikachu. Now, <clears throat> the thing is, Ruby. I don't watch cartoons, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, you wish you did. The thing is, the thing is, Ruby. <laughs> 
All right, cut this out and it's gone. Tell me. <laughs> Now the thing is, Ruby. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. The, the thing is, <laughs> you now have a chance to go to the next level because you got the answer right. Oh! <laughs> Now, guess the number. Oh, sorry, not the number. Guess if it's higher or lower. I think higher I, or lower? because I've got two there, one there, four there. The only lower one is three, but I think I'm going to go for higher. Higher. Yes. Taking my chances now. Yes, higher. And red looks like it's a good color for me today. So you're going to say high. <laughs> yes, high. And Azad, what are what are the odds? High. What are the high odds now? Um. <laughs> 110%? 110% is higher. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So higher. Okay. Um because of that. Fifty number 150. Yeah, high. apart from 3, I would go for higher. Exactly. Yes. But if Ruby. it's 3, then obviously. So Ruby, if you yes. get this right, on. you're moving on? Yes, yes, And definitely. And let's find out now <laughs> if it's higher or lower. You said it's higher. Yes. It's higher. Woo! <laughs> yes. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you so Thank much. You. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another winner for the next round. So now we'll be going to round 2. So Azad, thank, thank you very much for inviting me. Eh? Well, thank you very much for coming down. So, we'll play odds and <laughs> not in my favor. Odds <laughs> were not on your favor. So I'm so so sorry. So sorry. Thank Azad, you very much. Thank you away. very much. So you are returning back to India. So um, yeah, so don't worry, the octopus at the other question. So um, anyway, you're not going through to the next round. So anyway, thank you very much thank for coming. Thank you very much. And now we are on our second round, which is the dart throwing round. I will call up my first contestant, which is Taz. Taz, please come on up. Place your right foot here on that cross. Here are your darts, and that's the dart board. Now try to get the highest score. Yes. Seven. Eight. Eight. Seven. Eight. Eight. Total up to twenty-three. So Taz, you have scored 23. Thank you. Have a seat. Taz has scored 23. Now I will be calling Ruby up to score as much as she can. I hope she can score more than 23. Ruby, coming up. Place your right foot here on the cross here. Thank you. Now Taz has scored 23. Yeah, if it gets higher than 23. Yeah, like Miss. Miss. Two. Well, Ruby, really good try. Yeah. You scored two. I hope on the next round Taz misses all of them. So, <laughs> please have a seat. Ruby just scored two. Taz scored twenty-three. Now this is round two of darts throwing. I'll be calling Taz up again. Taz, please come on up. Please place your right foot on the cross. Seven. Seven, eight, seven, seven, eight equals to forty-five. Thank you very much, Taz. Taz just scored forty-five, twenty-three, forty-five, and Ruby has only two. I'll be calling up Ruby again. Uh, the odds are that. She won't be able to score higher than Taz, but I'll still call her up just for the sake of it. Ruby, come on up. 
Here's your tart. That's the board. Do what you have to do. Three. Four. Miss. <laughs> Ruby, I'm so sorry. That's fine. Ruby, you have came all this way and just because you couldn't throw the darts properly. I, didn't, I never played darts before, so. Oh well, okay. oh well, that, really well. Yeah, that's that, that that's the challenge basically that we yes. have here. But okay. you've done well on the first round, and unfortunately, yeah. So good try. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. Yep, and um, I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now we are the final rounds of everything or nothing. Taz, how are you feeling? Nervous. Did you think that you'll come all the way through to the finals? No, no. Okay. I didn't think I would come this far. Well, you've worked really hard to come here. You deserve it. Now, in front of you, you have four cards. I will reveal one. Three of the other cards, you have to guess. With each card, there's a prize. If you guess one of them wrong, I'm afraid you live with nothing, and if you guess all the right, you live with everything. Yes? Okay. All right, here we go. First card, number 10. Taz, higher or lower? Lower. Lower. Lower, is it lower, higher or lower? Let's find out, it's lower, yes. Number nine, you just won a toaster. Higher or lower? If you get the next card right, you get two up lights. Higher or lower? Lower. Lower. You're saying it's lower, it's... <sighs> Taz, I'm afraid this is the end of line for you. And you've guessed the cards. Well, you've guessed the card wrong. So I'm sorry to say you have to leave with nothing. Taz, thank you so much for coming and trying. Ladies and gentlemen, on this show, we have another contestant who is leaving with nothing. So watch our next show and find out if the next contestant is leaving with nothing or everything. Well, this show is called Everything or Nothing. So either they leave with everything or nothing. So catch us again on our next show. Goodbye. Everything or Nothing, brought to you by Steamline Linen Services.